windy here last night. It is so bright out today. I'm hoping to pick up a pair of sunglasses soon. Actually today. It'll be the first time I've ever had prescription sunglasses of any kind. So I'm excited, definitely. Because it is just ridiculous to bright today. I've gotten good at walking with my eyes closed most of the time. I can just remember where everything is. The little persistence of vision thing. That's awesome. A whole wall made out of pandas. Making a giant panda. You have beautiful panda painting. And then right behind it, there's that. That's also pretty. I'm definitely gonna have to remember to show up for this. Got a great, beautiful arch here in Chinatown. If you'd like to read the commemoration plaque. There we've got an English, Chinese, and French. It is unbelievable how much copper we use as a society. Every street lamp has wiring like that. Someone fed the pigeons. Now they are all coming from a long distance. Oh, here comes one of them. What is it? It's a white pigeon. Here comes another pigeon. Are there any more gonna come? All right, well enjoy your food pigeons. I love all these beautiful murals that are all over the Chinatown. Beautiful artwork everywhere. I got new sunglasses. This is gonna take some getting used to because they are very prescription. I can see again. I can read from almost any distance now. That is amazing. Now I'm just going to have to get used to it because a lot of stuff is angled slightly weirdly. But I can see the sky and all of the everythings. This is gonna be weird. They're polarized, by the way. Polarized. I've never had polarized prescription glasses. Wow. That's kind of incredible. But yeah. Now I'm almost completely out of money again. Glasses are ridiculously expensive. Five minutes away. So I'm here trying to figure out why doesn't this phone ring properly? I mean, you can make calls on it, you can receive calls on it, but it doesn't make any noises other than that. Like the ringer switch is broken. Well, I took it apart. Take a look at this. Alrighty, so I unscrewed it, open it up here, and look at that. We've got a disconnected wire. And what looks here to be a genuine bodge Bodge wire right there. It's got soldered onto the ground plane in a strange way. Like, there's no, it shouldn't be like that. So, let's try and fix it. We'll see what we can do here. Because, like, if you plug in the power, all right, so we plug in the power here, and then we call this handset with the other handset. So it's not ringing, 
right now. But as soon as this wire touches here, it's ringing. So, just have to reattach that wire that we fixed. So, I got this nice, cheap, mechanical RGB keyboard to, you know, use here and there and everywhere. But, I want to use it on my cell phone. And it, work, it works really great on the cell phone, but the problem is, it's RGB. And it drains a bunch of my battery for no reason. Like, look at that, it says it takes 400 milliamps. 400 milliamps, see that? 400 milliamps, and that is not acceptable when it comes to cell phones. So this project is going to be taking apart and disabling the RGB. Let's see how it goes. Well, I 100% officially, one definitely feels stupid now. So, I just spent the last hour, so I just spent the last hour here trying to figure out, reverse engineer this keyboard, look all through the circuits, trying to disable the LEDs, and I didn't happen to go and read the user manual. find out that there's buttons for that hard-coded into the keyboard as well as some really cool other effects and stuff like look at this one where was it here I don't remember which mode it is but we'll find it in a minute here no nope, not that mode Ooh, look at that yes how cool is that enable the lighting disable the lighting do I ever feel stupid right now? Well, I'll put it all back together, I guess. But hey, I found a defect in the factory. Look at this. So, the person who assembled it at the factory seems to have accidentally squished the wire and for some reason it didn't get destroyed. But hey, well, it still works. Although I would not have been happy if it didn't work when I used it on Parliament Hill on 420. All right, so we're going to do something not really recommended right now, and we're going to put scotch tape on an electrical connection. Well, it's only 5 volts. Well, it should only be 5 volts in here, unless someone plugs it into something it definitely shouldn't be plugged into. But hey, that should be good for there. Earbreak. 